Hey everybody! Hey everybody! I've I watched the ending of uh, Samurai Jack. It was a very good episode. Really good. You know, Haku was destroyed and everything, and everything kind of wraps up. Achi dies though, but. In the same way that Nia dies in Gurren Lagann. I didn't think Gendy would pull that, but he did. A lot of people were like, oh, I'm still disappointed by the ending. Because I saw a few people saying that they were disappointed by it. But personally, it's the best way this show could have ended. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what you think. I don't care what. I mean, I do care what you think. But I don't care, like, I don't think you're, you know. I'm just saying, try to write it better, folks. Try to try to do a better job than the man himself. He did a pretty good job, and... Well, I'm happy. I'm happy that Jack finally ended. I'm happy that this show actually got an ending. You know, this is one of the shows that I wished... I wish that it... I wished it got an ending. I wished a lot of times that one day, you know, Gendy and the rest of the guy and the rest of the crew would just bring back some Red Jack. We had we had a movie. We had a movie. We had a movie that was supposed to happen, but that never happened. We had you know, there are all of these attempts to try and bring back the series. There was a comic book series. But that comic book series didn't didn't really have an ending. I think they were supposed to bring it back in another comic, uh, have it with another comic book series where it would have ended, but that wasn't the conclusion we wanted. And then, like a year, like a few, like a year, like two years back, whispers were heard about Samurai Jack coming back. And I was like, I'll believe it when I see it. Then when I actually saw it, when I saw the first. When I saw that teaser trailer, the, my, the light from my eyes lit up. It lit up. I was like, oh, shit. It was like the little kid inside of me just woke up and it was like... It felt like... I felt like a kid again. At that moment. At that very moment. I felt like I was a kid again. Sure. It had like one delay. Animation takes time, kids. And I wasn't really in a hurry. I wasn't really in a hurry. When I watched all these episodes, it just reminded me why I love this show to begin with. Why I literally, before sem before this fifth season came, I did a huge, gigantic marathon showing how much I loved it. Remembering all the little things, those little things I used to see, used to, it used to come on and on tsunami. <clears throat> sometimes, sometimes at you know when the Cartoon Network is doing its prime time. Remember prime time, guys? Back when to, back when Cartoon Network would just like show all their shows and like. Kind of an hour like like regular networks, but they'd be like they were little primetime bumpers and everything. Hmm. I mean, I can't think of a perfect way this could have ended. I can't think of a more perfect way. I would kind of make it like I would make like I would make it kind of more irrepressibly happy with the fact that Aku has gone. They figure out a way to kind of stabilize Ashi, but at the same time, it makes sense. That, you know, they did go back in time to stop Aku, so she never existed. What? But I'm kind of wondering, though, this, the, the whole, you know, Jack and Ashi getting married, that must have took a considerably, it must have took a considerable amount of time. Which I'm kind of wondering myself. Um, so, why did it take that long to... Basically, to, for her basically to disappear. 
I mean, I know. It's like during lag, and they didn't know until... Well, Simo knew that uh, Neo was going to go, but no one else did. The thing about Jack is, he didn't know, and it just kind of happened. It was kind of... It was kind of sad, because I felt like... Yeah, Jack kind of deserves a little bit of happiness. After everything he's gone through, after everything he went through, he deserves something. But alas, the thickness was not to be had. For no mortal man can have the thickness. Aku sort of won that day. But I feel like if they were ever to continue the series... If it ever did happen, if they ever felt like they need to do one more season or one half season or something like that, I think we'd have Jack kind of teach his skills to another, to have an apprentice. You know, he'd go off and he'd go off and be an apprentice. To everybody that says, to everybody that says that, to everybody that says, this this ending is disappointing. It wasn't what you thought it was. It wasn't exactly how you thought it was going to go. You know? I'll let you make a video and tell me about it. You know? Personally, and personally, Jack and Ashi going back and going back to the moment Jack was thrown into the thrown into the future. I think was the best way for the series to go. I mean, I think this is the best way for this to kind of end. It ends, it ended, how it began. You know? <laughs> Again, I love the symbolism in, the, in this show. Yeah, call me an old sen call me a sentimental. Eh, I call you a sentimental old fool. <laughs> so are you. Brother, we are true. We are really, really old. So we are really, really old in the in the spirit. Ah, true. But we do have younger bodies. So, eh, covers it. <laughs> oh God. On some tomorrow, I I loved watching that really again. Me too, bugs. It felt like we were kids again. Me and you sitting in sitting in this sitting in this room. Not the exact room we watched Samurai Jack. But it felt like it. Yeah, back when I still had hamsters. <laughs> I still had, I miss Wilbur. Oh god, Wilbur and Margaret wouldn't have been alive to see it anyway. I think they would have been, I think if they didn't die, they would have been pretty old hamsters that would have died eventually. <sighs> well, I mean, Bugsy, what can you give the series? I give it, oh my god, I, I never thought I'd actually be able to actually give this rating. It exists, I've always had it, but I never thought I'd use it. I give it the highest honor I can give it. It gets my lifetime achievement emblem. For everything that it is, for everything that it does, and for every and every hand painted background in the earlier seasons, and for everything this series gave us, it gets my it gets my emblem. Which the emblem my emblem my emblem is basically hold it hold on hold on my emblem is basically you guys have seen it before but my emblem is this now that shows get my emblem but Samurai Jack Gendy Karkowski the crew the cast all of you, and even Tara Strong, 
You guys deserve this emblem. I like I don't know if Samurai Jack ever really got any awards, and I know this probably doesn't mean a lot of things in the grand scheme of things, but you guys deserve it because you kept not only me entertained, entertained, but a whole bunch of people that became YouTubers, that became artists, that became artists, artists. God, I can't say the yes right now for some reason. They became artists, 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 and uh, and people and people that just enjoyed the story and how you were telling it. You know, thank you, thank you, Gandy Garkowski, thank you, and thank you, Adults. I know a lot of people give you flack about the whole, you know, tsunami thing and. Adult Swim thing, and that you guys don't care about this stuff. But I'm glad. I'm glad. I am happy. I am truly over the moon happy that this series had the proper ending. And let's just say me and me and the Bugsy here, we we appreciate it. You guys didn't even that. You guys didn't even have to come back. You really didn't, but you did, and we love you for it. And Gendy, I still freaking think it sucks that the emoji movie, the emoji movie gets made because they wanted, because Sony wanted to make it, and you wanted to make Popeye, and I think it was so fucking assholeish that the freaking Sony people wanted to make emoji movie where they, you could have made a new pop, you could have made, you're gonna have them make. You could have made a new Popeye movie. <sighs> oh well. It's whatever. You know, it's whatever, man. But, honestly, thank you for Samurai Jack. Thank you. On the be Like I said, on the behalf of everybody, just plain, plain and simple. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you excuse me and I'm talking about we got some video we got some videos to plan. Bugsy, you really think you were gonna go without saying it. Gotta get back back to the past samurai jack. Watch out. I'll see you guys I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thank you everybody. I'm saying, guys, if you're disappointed about the ending, well, that's what happens when you have your expectations super, like, stupendously high. You can, you can never meet these expectations that you set. Mine, mine are lower. It doesn't mean I have low expectations of it. That just means I have it realistic. And it could have ended like some Ashi in. Ashi and, and Jack would have went to the past, and it could have just ended like that, but they did. It went that one extra mile. They ended this series in the proper way that it should have ended. And honestly, who else thought it was funny when, when, when the Scotsman was like, Take your pick, Jack. Take your pick of my daughters. I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about Jack, but I'm saying the old, the younger, the younger Bugsy and Aunt Sakamara would have probably uh, jumped on that like a beast, at night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying, buddy. Anyways, anything else? Eh. And mostly half of the people, mostly half of Jack's allies died. So can we just give them a moment of silence, just for a minute, just for like one minute? Let's just let's just bow our heads, and give them a moment of silence. Oh man, they killed the robots. They killed. They killed the dogs. Aku, you bastard! You killed the fucking dogs, you bastard! 
But, uh, Bugsy, I mean... But is it... But multiverse theory, dude, so even if they left... You know that Ashi and Jack left. When the when the Aku timeline remain unchanged, and wouldn't everybody die anyway? Asaka Maru, let's just take this as a happy ending and not think about it, too. and not think about there's the universe, the universe, the timeline. That timeline is still there because Ashi is the signifier. That that timeline doesn't even exist. Because, you know what? I'll explain it later. Just give me, give me, just give me a short, just give me the short of it. Well, well, on Sakamaru, if, say like, they went to the other, since they went back in the timeline... Not back into an alternate dimension of said timeline. But they went back in the actual past to kill Aku. Now, I, now if Ashi didn't die from that, that's where I would have been worried. But since Ashi is no more, that means the timeline is completely and utterly destroyed. There you go. There you go. There you go, yellow ball. See you guys later.